Okay. Yeah, there might be some more, too. But yeah, this means that, um... This means that, uh, I can actually put down a bunch of these commercial things. Because I don't know about industrial, but commercial gives us the chance of, you know, getting goodies that I can actually use. So let's do commercial plot, upraised. I'm just going to line a... Um, well, I'm going to try and get a bunch of these. I'm just going to move that over there. Might be uh, confusing this process. Unfortunately, this is quite possibly one of the most finicky systems I have ever seen. Fortunately, also, we don't have enough room there for any more. I guess we could tear up some more stuff to get it down, but... I could just wait, uh, or make like another trade row somewhere slightly different. What the? No, don't do that. Why, why would you do that? That's, that doesn't even make sense. Huh. I'm not... Quote of the day, it just works. I'm not really sure that's sound design, but... All right, if you say so, whew, okay. Want to disable the floating picket fence? Where? If I see it, I'll disable it, but yeah, there's just a random atomic bomb in the mix there, confusingly. Okay, well, one way or another... Oh, no. Defense is not in the negatives. Why did it... I don't know why it said it was in the negatives there. Let's see. I know there's also, like, a dead dude somewhere around here, but I have no idea where their corpse is. I assume that'll be something that we find later. Oh, good. The Brahmin actually moved. Um, hmm. You know, I really wish on the left, those meters, I really wish they were actually uh, numbers. Makes so much more sense. I guess we could get like another trade row or maybe houses out here. I'll think on that. Let's, let's go check out Abernathy and Red Rocket and make sure that they're good too. Because I want multiple of these. Uh, I, I want multiple of these settlements up. If we're going to be doing Horizon, uh, I'd, I'd really like to actually have uh, have multiple locations, you know, functional. Can anybody go upstairs here? That's another question. Did you get free? No, you're the other lady. Okay, that was risky. Okay. Well, at least the plants are growing. I guess it really doesn't matter if they can get upstairs or not. Sorta. As long as they're actually doing their jobs, it doesn't really matter if they can never figure out how to make it. Now, are these harvestable silt beans? Because if I could actually harvest these silt beans, that'd, that'd be amazing. Awesome. I didn't know you could do that. Let's see. Can I console disable the dirt mound with that? Oh, yeah. They can get upstairs. The okay, good. Yeah, that was a... Uh, that was just like a, a mild confusion early on. Let's see. Wall the first floor so we can have a, a farm down there. Uh, Now that... This is a spot for workbenches. What I can do, though, is close it off. I like keeping it closed, though. First floor, Red Rocket's more for my uses. But yeah, I also just kind of like the massive dirt mound because it looks completely goofy. I wonder what Diamond City looks like with this mod on. 
I'd be willing to make uh, a run there. I'm just a little bit worried that it's going to result in my death. Son of a bitch. I don't have any new guns yet. A little bit further. All right. <laughs> They're still shooting at me. I mean, I could use some of my guns. I mean, honestly, at this point, they're within range, so me being... Me being particular here is probably worthless. Probably should have actually been more aggressive about killing them to get the EXP. Seeing as we're finally starting to get some. Eh, whatever. It was just kind of fun to watch for once. Okay, was... Were there only three? I think there were only three. Uh, yeah, let's go back. Let's go grab... Let's go grab a new gun. The other thing I want to check, actually, uh, now that I'm thinking about it, is, um... We need to get our hands on, um... More purified water. I want to see if the, uh, water purifiers are actually doing, like, useful things. What if you actually, actually had to get turret ammo? Then I would never put down turrets, period. Let's see. Always carry around a semi-automatic plasma. Unfortunately, uh, ammo is super scarce with this mod, which makes it a little bit harder. Um, but yeah, I I absolutely hate automatics in this game. There's... There's... No... Because of how... Um, because of how freaking sparse the ammunition system is in this game, you can... Like, you can have... Oh! Oh, no, 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 that's the water purifier, so I thought there was a corpse there. I... Uh, like, you grab a machine gun, you go gun some people down, then you're out of ammo permanently. Semi-automatics tend to do, like, a, a, a decent amount of damage in, an, in their own right, and they don't bankrupt you. Yeah, let's drop off a lot of this stuff. Let's see, not, oh uh, yeah, we'll drop off the double barrel. Let's... Wait. Oh, DPS is 253. But we only have 15 bullets left. Okay. I'll have to look into... Uh, like a better sniper rifle at some point. Unfortunately, don't have the ammo for it. Eventually, I should be able to make this stuff. Or just have enough that I can just say, screw it. I'm fine. Okay. But yeah, let's let's drop these things off, and it's under this. We want the widow shotgun. Let's see if we can mod the widow shotgun. What gave you the idea we're friends? Let's see. Oh, we can. Better crit shot, heavier weight, improved damage. Hardened. Hmm. A buckshot, birdshot, fletchet. Ooh, fletchet seems super good. High explosive ammo. Yeah, some of these are great. But yeah, let's let's just go with this for the time being. Let's see, I could sell dirty water. No 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 no. I don't sell dirty water, I use it for cooking. Oh, I just realized I got a bunch of spare scarves. Alright, uh, Widow Shotgun. Yeah, do I have any other spare, quote-unquote, clothing? Nope, don't. And no Carla. Okay, well, one way or another, better here. That's good. It looks so short, though. 
which is so weird. But yeah, no, Diamond City is absolutely a, a, uh, a worthwhile goal for me. Oh, water, shit. I was going to check how much water uh, I've stockpiled. Because I got a ton of dirty water stockpiled. Could I sell bone? I could sell bone. Honestly, I'm not too worried about money, considering how much uh, combat armor I've got uh, stowed away. But yeah, let's see if we've actually been producing purified water, if it's just been lying to me this whole time. Looks like lies. That sucks. But let's put away the, the uh, most of this junk. There we go. Yeah, I'll have to figure out... Uh, I mean, I guess we could just drink dirty water. Getting rid of my rads is not actually that expensive. I'll get the cleansing tea now that I'm thinking about it. Maybe I can do stuff with that. Nuka coffee. No, power tea. That's still purified water, though. Really, anything under soup. Oh, but that's purified water, too. There we go, gazpacho soup. I'll have to... I'll have to look at my recipes. I should be able to drink some soup. Do I have 10 units of purifiers? Nope. Can't afford them. They're expensive. Alright, uh, let's... I guess I'll drink my last, uh, purified water. Actually, it looks like it's stored away. Okay, fine. Gazpacho! Probably hydrated. Works. I'll have to, uh, figure out how to farm yet more potatoes. I'm not... Oh, do I have the... I should have the settlement supply uncapped thing. Take care of your guy. You need 10 purifiers to produce purified water. That's such a crap design. I'd rather... I'll, I'll go see if I can find the... Oh, hey! If she's here, um, let's go back then. Uh, let's go, let's go preempt her and grab a bunch of, uh, combat armor, I guess. Something that I can just sell, like, a, a whole load of. Yeah. Because, yeah, if she's coming down this direction, then I'm, I might as well make a little bit of money. And maybe she, I mean, she might sell some things. But I think I'm going to also start buying some extra... Uh, I might also start buying some purified water as we go along. Because I know I can get more. Okay, so let's just get every stack of combat armor that we got. Because we definitely don't need any of that. Any of the rest of this? I mean, all of the rest of this. Okay. So she should be coming up the road... Somebody's skulking in the shadows there. Probably another Minute Man. Garvey. Car. There she is. What would happen to her, uh, Brahmin? Carla. You again. Here to trade? Sure. Let's take a look. Yeah, yeah, keep your shirt on. Okay. So, all of the combat armor. Okay, we might want to rethink on that for a second. Oh, hey! Hello, scavenged NCR long coat. Very expensive. Totally worth. I need a uh, I need more money. Cancel trade in progress. She's got a she's got a good item. Okay, so what else we got? 
We gotta have some some things. We got all those uh, Merc. Yeah, the the Gunner Merc jackets and stuff like that. Those sell for a lot anyway. So we might as well grab those, the leather arms. If I'm gonna be making money off of her, we might as well make a lot and get what goodies we can have. Okay, that's that's got to be enough at this point. Okay, uh, that's still not her. But yeah, if she's got the NCR long coat, we can keep uh, building ourselves to be... Oh, that was interesting. If you zoom in and out, you can actually see a little bit of the goggles there. That's funny. Carla. You again. Here to trade? Seriously. What's her voice yeah. haunts my dreams. Okay. So we want to do... Give me that long coat. If I throw the mercenary gunner jacket. Okay, there we go. So otherwise, it's the NCR gas mask, which we already have. Okay, pipe pistol. So what does she have? Shipment of fuel, not that useful. Bobby pin. I guess I'll take the uh, combat armor back. And let's see what she's got. Bottles. We need the bottles. Uh, let's see. Copper. More copper. Every bit of copper we can get because we need it for clothing. Uh, for not clothing. Lights. Silver. Gold. At this point, I can afford to be a little bit excessive because I've got so many good things. Let's see. Definitely have the light bulbs, magnifying glass. You don't see those show up very often, honestly. If she had a shipment of antiseptic, I'd be super down. No, no dice though. I mean, honestly, we find a fair amount of those. Okay, so if I sell combat armor, 300 caps, there we go. Okay, so let's do apparel. Scavenged. NCR long coat. Let's go back. To somewhere where we, we can see ourselves. Honestly, I almost liked my previous jacket better. What do you guys think? Yeah, I actually kind of like the Rebel Jacket better. Doesn't look great with the, um... Uh... It doesn't look great with the, uh, uh, chest piece. Oh, my gloves have also been... ...replaced. So, previous jacket. Which one? The NCR? NCR one or the current one? Also, where'd my gloves go? Okay, I'm seeing a lot of people saying NCR. Okay. I don't know, I'm torn. But we'll go with the NCR for the time being. If I can find it. Um, there it is. Okay, and let's go drop the rest of this stuff off. Complain, yeah, the clipping is why you don't use the multi-armor mods. The thing is, I need I need the multi -ar uh, multiple armor set thing. Because if I don't have it, I kind of die. This is a very, very... Uh, anti wanderbot run and I kind of need the extra survivability like real bad I'll hand it to you. but yeah we'll go NCR for the moment honestly I know there's another NCR set uh, further down like down south I think it's in the game uh, I don't think I have the mod shiny as fuck everything is shiny as fuck with my um, 
the MP. I have no idea why. I think everything is just covered in Crisco. Question mark? But yeah, let's head down to Drumlin Diner. Maybe try and make our way to... I don't know. Oh. There's a Brahmin here. Do I have enough... Uh... Please tell me I have enough to make a Brahmin feed trough. Oh. And we need some bedding. Okay. Uh, I didn't realize we got another person here. And we need ceramic. Well, I guess we don't need another bed. That's not the problem here. Or is it? Yeah. Okay. I was hoping these wouldn't actually cost materials. So I need packing material, wood, and ceramic. So let's go back... <sighs> Honestly, let's go back and grab all of our junk. We might as well bring it with us, uh, especially if I do ch decide to set up in another one of the um, settlements. I was thinking, well, I mean, if I'm going into Boston, we might as well check out Hangman's Alley. See, uh, see if we can set something up there. Unfortunately, it won't be like a very substantive settlement, even if I tried. Is the Crisco apocalypse that is disgusting? Okay, so let's just do everything below the shipment. Oh, uh. okay. Anything that's labeled just junk is a no good. Everything past that is fine. Might as well grab the used Wonder Glue, too, while we're here. Okay, cool. I'm glad that it doesn't actually ask me how much. That is really nice. This is taking a while. Yeah, I was looking into the, uh, the multiplayer mod for... I was looking into the multiplayer mod for uh, Fallout New Vegas. I'm not entirely sure how it's supposed to work. There's, there's a couple... But I'm, I'm really looking forward to giving that a go at some point. Unfortunately, I think um, I'm probably going to do... Uh, I'm probably going to do... Uh, maybe Dying Light with Bird first. I don't know. There's too many games to play. And it's hard to hard to do like anything consistently. Uh, especially now that we're doing Dungeons and & Dragons. And Bird has a job. And so on and so forth. I don't know. I'd love to go through uh, New Vegas... With a like a co-op partner though, that would be so nice. Let's see, you have to remove the water to produce it. Uh, not with the mod that I've got set up. I'm just not producing enough water that it's even noticeable. I think it takes like twenty days. Before I get it, so it's kind of like, eh, it's not even worth considering. Okay, so let's figure out where I can get another one of these. Fortunately, I think we're gonna have just have to wait. Isn't this this is a residential plot? What? So the new guy just doesn't feel like making his plot. I see how it is. And I have lost him completely. Oh, there he is. Skulking in the way, way in the back. I actually have no idea. Okay. Well, that should solve the problem. Food, food, food. Well, all right. Uh. What was I going to do? I was going to make... Oh, right. I was going to make a Brahmin feed trough. 
Seeing as we have a Brahmin here too, appa apparently. I was kind of not expecting one of those to show up, but hey. If you got a Brahmin, you might as well feed it. Uh, this might make the Brahmin free freak out, but I think I think that's okay. Need something? What do you need? Okay. Well, anyway, uh, Drumlin Diner, right? And we'll check the mole rat den as we go by, cause I'm hoping I'm hoping it respawns so we can make some more mushroom soup. But it might take a while. Might take forever. Might take a stupidly intermittent amount of time. Oh, that's okay. Uh, I know Clow had sent me a a faster respawn time. I was I was a little bit um, sketchy on whether I wanted to have it be like a one day respawn timer though. Be crazy useful though. Keeps forgetting you can drink from the pumps. Thought the p pumps are clean water. The pumps are not clean water in this mod. I'm not dumb. I do everything for a very specific reason. I kind of wish you could actually, um... Oh, do we have a rad storm coming in? Shit. I was going to be like, ooh, pretty fireflies. And I'm like, wait a second. That's a bad move. Oh, every time I run in there, it resets the timer? Ah, bollocks. Okay. The shit is Red Rocket. One of my mods makes it so it doesn't show up. Wrong direction. I forgot. Regrowth makes it impossible to get through there. Yep, there it is. Let's just do one hour. Should be enough. And there it goes. Yeah, I really like Brad Storms. Uh, honestly, I'm actually really looking forward to having a regular perk deck, so we can have, so we can actually be out and about in a Brad Storm. Again, like, oh, God. What was the King of the Wasteland and Zombie Survival, I think, both had it, where I could be out and about in a rad storm, but it generally wouldn't wouldn't be a problem. But, yeah, uh, the rad storms appear with the horror base. They also appear uh, very specifically with... Um, with those like really pretty glowing fireflies. They kind of like rise out of the ground and stuff like that. Oh, that looks so nice. And unfortunately is, uh, you know, super risky problematic and I don't want to deal with it. Let's see. I wonder if I could actually, hmm. I think maybe after this challenge, I, I might actually uh, switch my, my permanent mod around. Uh, I might actually s switch it around to... Uh, so it's per almost permanently day. No, actually, no, I don't want to do that. I really like... I really like how it looks at night in this game. It's part of the reason why I enjoy this, though honestly, um, uh, I think I prefer it more with True Storms. The Pilgrim, like, soundtrack and a couple other things are amazing, but the, um, the Pilgrim soundtrack is amazing, but the, uh, the weather, True Storms, just kind of puts everything else to shame. I want to get the, uh, the nuclear weather mod running, too, because I think the both of those are supposed to be compatible, and they do... Some really fun, nice things. Okay, we get a rad stag dough if I can get to it. I'm getting better at shanking things in one go. Uh, no, do I? Okay. Now is that? Oh, this is this is the drumlin drumlin diner. Super easy to get turned around here. 
Oh, I'm approaching from this angle. I was super confused. What the? Oh, oh! They killed the mutant hound. Excuse me. If you're here to trade, let's trade. Yeah, do the herding sun thing with the uh, permaday. The problem is, uh, I don't even know how I do the herding sun thing. I don't know if that's a mod. It would be an incredible mod if I could get it. Because how cool would it be to have like a challenge where you can only be out at night and the sun straight up kills you. Maybe I could actually do it by making it rad storm permanently during the daytime. I bet that's possible. I'd have to look into it, but I I bet it works. The vampire mod. I looked into the vampire mod, though, and the vampire mod is dumb as hell. Like, he gives you spells and shit, and, like, the textures are all dumb. I don't know. I'm a bit of a snob when it comes to mods. If they look... If they look grubby and dumb, then I'm generally not that interested. But yeah, effectively, what's the ozone layer? Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, a vampire challenge would be kind of cool, except for, well, I guess we could do it in conjunction with, like, Cannibal and whatever. Um, I might look into it. It could be really fun. I guess I'm mostly just worried that it would be a, um, it would be really contrived. No. Looks like we got forged up ahead. How many we got? Two, maybe. Maybe three? Three. They're moving. Where's the last one? No idea. I think we pissed off the raiders too, but that's okay. I'm gonna shank the crap out of this forged. And let's see what else we got here. Raider scum, raider scum, raider scum. That's a lot of raider scum. And there's dogs, and what the hell's up with the rest of you? Oh. There we go. I want to drag the rest of them closer to me. Keep using vats. Okay. Uh, I really need to do that perk thing. We need We need some extra bonus perks here. Just so we can have some more fun. Mainly, I need Blitz. But I guess we're about to level up. Wow, his head just popped off. Well. Let's see. Damaging Sun Mod breaks Fallout 4 because of the settlement system. Yeah. No. Mm. Yeah, that would be a good point. It would be kind of rough. Uh, from the perspective of, there's no way that you could make it so that you were in the sun. Well, I'll do my research. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do for it. Uh, it seems entirely possible that it just simply won't work. But if I can figure it out, I'll give it a go. Oh. We're outside of Lexington. There's a synth strider. There. All right. Yeah, sure. This 
bizarre that they're non-hostile. Unless we're doing that, like, weird thing where we're not the... Where we're secretly a synth again. I just want to play do a playthrough where it's just super overt that you're a synth. And you get, like, robot bits. Zombie, zombie, raider, scum. Do you mean me, or do you mean that dude? Well, they're not pissed at me. And there's the super duper mark. Any ghouls here? Nope. Ghouls seem to be leaving me alone. For whatever reason. Super duper mart might be kind of... Funkalicious. Okay, so how do we get in this giant here? No, that's a window. I think we're on the back side. Alright, I'm gonna vats... Oh, jeez. That's f wit. Yeah, all right. Looks like we're in another one of those weird positions where it's since don't hate me. I'm okay with that. I'm also noticing that my frame rate is turning into buttsville. Okay, here we go. I think that's a I think that's a railroad sign. Maybe? I'm not entirely sure. What's the mod that allowed me to spawn anywhere? Just look up alternate start mods, man. Balls. Look at how many ghouls we got. Well, luckily they're they're stupid. Unfortunately, I think the uh, Romero mod. Not only broke the loot that they give me, but it also broke their AI really hard. I'll have to turn, see if I can get Endless Warfare back. Because I like the idea of making them slow. But like, slow and durable? But, slow and non-functional just becomes kind of boring. I'll need to fix this. The one nice thing about Fallout is most people are usually pretty understanding when mods break. And at least I'm not getting EXP for this. I'd feel really guilty if I was getting EXP. Instead, they're just kind of mobile uh, loot depositories. Christ. Tracker boss. Actually, think I took a hit there. Oh, no, it's you. Just me. Or are these guys, like, extra weak? Also, like, holy shit, they all spawn at once. Super confusing. Well, life is weird. The alternate version of Life is Strange. Potentially the less shitty version. Yeah, it's like they just, they, they're not even aware of my presence. Oh, it's okay. Uh, so there's a magazine around here somewhere that we gotta find. I'm gonna grab what scrap I can. Anyway. Uh, where is it? I have no idea. But yeah, some of these were legendary. Yep. I mean, I guess I'll loot them all because they just have scrap generally. Also, some of these guys are maniacs and whatnot. Wow. 
Okay, we got quite the loot del delivery there. Okay. Uh, north wall, main area. Okay. I will take a look at it. But first, let's see what all of these zombie corpses have to offer. Rusty chem box, had some goodies. Zombie, zombie. Combat knife! Nocturnal combat! Ooh. Okay, I think I might have just gotten a... Upgrade, though I'm not entirely sure if it counts for what I do. Oh, well, we'll find out, I guess. Oh. We got trouble. Wait. She had Grognak's axe. Oh, Maniac's axe. But, I mean, let's be honest here. It's straight up Grognak's axe. It just without any of the, uh, the, without any of the effects. Well, that's helpful. Let's see. Oh, hey, fusion core. Mine? Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's also the... There's also the death cloud run. Unfortunately, I have no idea how to, like, end any of these runs. Like, all of my challenges all effectively go forever. I don't know. What do you guys think? You guys want to come up with, like, a, um, uh, a, some kind of definitive end for the Pilgrim Challenge? Because I don't really have one. It's mostly me just being like, what's the hardest concoction of everything that I can put together? Nice. Because, yeah, I actually really want to do the Deathclaw thing. Uh, but, like, King of the Wasteland had, like, a very definitive end to it. Uh, zombie survival ended kind of when I wanted to, which was actually kind of convenient and fun because I, I, that that was probably my favorite finale out of all of them. Frost had the worst ending out of any of them because I realized it wasn't done yet and it was super frustrating. There, ends when you die. Eh. Oh, exactly five million times. Well, that's that's a little bit beyond. What if I complete the main story? Man, screw the main story. Main story of Fallout's terrible. I'ma just shank my way to freedom. Ooh, gun. Josh. I did not earn any of these things. And yet, I don't care. Max settlers in every settlement. Ugh. <laughs> Ends when you manage to kill a Deathclaw well naked in the Rad Sea. That could work, actually. Deathclaw in the Rad Sea. Okay, cool. I, I think I can make that work. Might be a little while. But I think I can make that work. Kind of depends on how much uh, radiation the Rad Sea has. And we'd effectively have to sprint in. I might have to turn off Horizon for that to work. But yeah, it ends when you have 15 uh, settlers in every settlement. You realize, like, King of the Wasteland took, like, 60 episodes just to unlock everyone. Much less putting settlements uh, settlers in that. Ugh. I will... I'm going to veto that right out the bat because there's no way I could conceivably do that. Oh, shit. That's just a ton of melons. Oh, gun by Josh's corpse. Oh yeah, laser musket, short. Not exactly the most useful, but still. Ended by killing everyone in Diamond City. You know, I have done that. Pilgrim of Death. I mean, it could work. Actually, I mean, that that could be kind of fun. 